It's fine not to know the answer. There's nothing wrong with not knowing the answer. In fact, not knowing the answer is exciting because it means there's a lot to learn. But the key point is mystery. That's one of the things that makes science so special, I think, is that scientists love mysteries. They love not knowing. That's a key part of science. We know our observable universe have, had a beginning. We know that. That's not a, a, that's not a philosophical statement. It's a scientific one. We now know the universe has only one-third the amount of matter to make it flat. The problem is, the theorists like me knew the answer. The universe must be flat. Great, we know the universe is flat. We know a Big Bang happened. The Big Bang is a fact. It happened 13.72 billion years ago. And the fact that we can say so to four decimal places is one of the most remarkable feats of modern science that we should all herald. And, and, and use to, un, to and exalt. Well, we now know the rate of expansion of the universe to 10%, not a factor of 10. And we therefore, in fact, we now know the age of the universe through other things extremely accurately to f almost four decimal places. 13.72 billion years is the age of the, of the universe. Now we know, poof, out of empty space, all, you all arose. Out of empty space, all of you arose. Quantum fluctuations in the early history of the universe produce mass density fluctuations, which produce galaxies, stars, people. In fact, it's right now we know to an accuracy of better than 1%. The universe is flat. It has zero total energy, and it could have begun from nothing. The interesting thing is Stephen Hawking has also argued, as in fact we now know given quantum gravity, that universes can spontaneously appear.